I often get asked, what's the effect of market fluctuations on your development business, whether that be Brexit or the credit crunch or the next black swan event? Well, I've ridden a few storms in my time, not least Brexit and the credit crunch and, and various other ups and downs through business. And the key is your un underlying model. Our underlying model is built on rental income. It's built on yield and location. So rather than a lot of traditional developers that build flats to sell and they sell off the individual flats, which at this current time, around the sort of Brexit time, we're, we're talking in 2019, um, is you know, a bit of a slow market and there's less buyers, prices are a little bit bumbling along, waiting to see what happens with this current market. Our market, because we build whole investment blocks, blocks of 15, 20, 30, 40 blocks of micro studios, we're relatively unaffected. Our whole blocks are either sold onto ultra high net worth individuals or property funds, pension funds, and thus they're just looking for a yield in a location. We're not looking to sell off the individual units. So it's you know looking really detail at what a particular developer or a particular site is doing to understand what's the market risk. Um, I've also recently written Brexit for Dummies, um, so I'd like to think I know a little bit about um, market shifts and things that can affect your business on a kind of black swan level. So I'd highly recommend getting this book. It gives you all sorts of tips about surviving black swan events such as Brexit. It's a fairly generic book in that respect and it could cover any major fundamental market shift. But ultimately, it's a good example of how to weather a storm and design a product. And we're developers, we've designed a product that weathers major market shifts. We're not affected by the end price of individual flats and apartments that we're building. We're affected by the yield and the location. So as long as the yield, i.e. the rental income, is unaffected and in times of uncertainty like this, more people are renting than buying. So that actually pushes our yield up so it's the best possible time for us and in a sort of slow market where the masses are you know scared off and deciding oh what should I do I'm gonna hang on and wait to see what this um, Brexit you know event turns into or this you know credit crunch turns into that becomes a buyer's market for us so we pick up sites cheaper we pick up better sites we can cherry pick and negotiate the terms better weather the storm better and then when the prices rise fantastic we've got a strong rental demand throughout because people are always renting um, the first time buyer age has gone up through the roof to sort of 38 i believe it is now in the uk around that kind of level 38 years old um, and that means that most people are renting so that's our target market and that's what underpins our entire development company and the product that we build